Alright guys, today I've got a video here, this is going to be on my Verizon Galaxy S4 and I'm going to show you guys how to do a full Odin restore. Um, should be able to explain all this to you, hopefully be able to understand it and this will do an unbrick, it'll factory reset, it'll do you know a bunch of things like that to your device. Um, so if, for example if you have something like SuperSU and you have uh, root access, so right there SuperSU, um, but you want to do a restore and get your device back to factory for warranty or you have even safe strap installed with custom ROMs and all that kind of stuff and you just want to wipe it clean you want to sell it or you got to do a factory warranty or you just want to go 100 percent back to stock this video is going to show you guys how to do that um, so I do have a custom ROM on this thing I do have you know safe strap and all that kind of stuff on here um, but this is what I'm going to do to show you guys how to do this so to explain that um, I'm just going to show you what phone uh, I'm on. If you go into about phone, um, right here is my build number. It is MK2. So the Odin restore files we're going to flash are MK2 Odin restore files. You want to flash whatever your build number is. Um, so before you do any hacking, always want to know what your build number is. Um, obviously, if you just flash the newest Odin, you'll you'll should always be fine but um, it's always recommended to know what your build number is so if you do ever have to run this Odin restore process you uh, know what one to flash to your device the newer ones like I said are always fine though so that being said um, first thing we're gonna do let's let's, uh, let's shoot over to my computer and install the Samsung driver so we can actually work with this device so right here are the drivers I will give you guys links to everything you're gonna need here um, and the first thing you want to do is just click on your drivers and then click run and it will install all the drivers you need for your device. Pretty simple. I'll give you a link to it. I've already got mine installed so I'm not going to run it right now but you just step through it. It says like finish at the end and you close it out. Alright, once you've got that done, next thing you want to do is go ahead and take your cable, plug it into your device and let all those drivers install go ahead and click that on and your drivers will all install um, once they're installed let's show you this um, mine I think look like this oh no it's not on here mine are already installed but basically they'll probably have a window pop up here on the side telling you who didn't you know that they're installing whatever so you just make sure they're all installed um, obviously if you have a brick device you can't do this step but you can make that sure that they install in download mode so we're gonna get into download mode so right now your drivers are installed. So if you have a booting phone, this is how you would do it. Next, what you're going to do is go ahead and if your phone's not working or just get it in the powered off state, however you want to do that. And um, we're going to enter download mode. So to enter download mode, what you're going to do, once it's powered off, there it goes, it vibrated it looks like, you're going to go ahead and hold the home button, the volume down button, and the power button keep holding them and you will see this screen so from here it says to continue to get into download mode so you push volume up or cancels volume down so we're going to push volume up and this is download mode so from here I'm going to go ahead and connect my cable again and in this mode you will also have drivers install so let them install mine already are actually functioning it's not even going to pop up but um, they will be installing in this mode so just kind of let it sit there for a little bit let those drivers install once you've got those installed you're going to open up here's how you would download this it's Odin 3.09 zip and once you've got them installed you can just go ahead and um, open the zip extract it I use 7 zip to extract my files and you're going to end up with these two files so this is your Odin program so we're just going to go ahead and run Odin and the first thing you want to notice is that you have it doesn't matter what the number is here but you should have something that says com something and it should say added that means that Odin can see your device in download mode so that is super critical that that is functioning correctly next I'm going to show you what it says on XDA for instructions on uh, Odin 3 which should be helpful for you guys and I'll give you a link to this as well so here is the 
thread that I'm following basically to do this. All the files are going to be listed here. You can also um, you can also get them. Probably I'll host them to myself and give you links to those as well on my server. Um, important things to note: if you've used Odin 3.07, that uh, this is the equation. So bootloader equals BL, PDA equals PA, and phone equals CP. Um, very interesting. And then the other thing you want to know about is this MD5. If you guys don't understand how to do this. Um, I have a file called md5exe and you can run and, and check your md5s or you can install um, hash check I think it's called uh, I'll, I'll show it to you guys in the other thing but basically you want to make sure your md5s match on your downloads to make sure you have good files other thing you might want to get is this uh, right here click here it's a pit file and that's for like disaster recovery you may need it to get your phone fully booting so all that being said um, we're gonna go ahead and shoot back to my files and we're in we're in uh, Odin mode right here so normally you would click this would be PDA now it's just PA and I have two different files I can get to I can get to this one which is just a restore and it doesn't wipe out data so you keep all your applications and stuff like that so if you just have root I would say um, this one will probably be the one you'd want to use um, but if you have just you don't know what's going on the safest one to use is the full wipe version which is this file right here so what we're going to actually do really quick is we're going to really quick re extract these because these are zips and it can't flash the zips it can only flash the, the other file it's extracting right here so make sure that they both get extracted okay that's one extracted and then we're going to go to the full wipe one and extract it also again I use 7-zip I recommend it if you're doing Android stuff it's a great program I have it on my server you can get it from there you can google it and get it it really doesn't matter um, and then also, if you want my MD5 EXE program that checks the MD5s for you, you can get that off there, off my server. I'll put it, it's in the video description, so you guys will see all that stuff. All right, so we'll close these out, and all your files are extracted. We're in Odin mode. Let's pull Odin over here so you guys can see the device while I'm doing this. And you're just going to go to the PDA, or P, it should be PDA, but it's PA. And you got to find where your files are at, so you got to understand your file structure to make sure you get to the right place. I know where mine are at. They're in here, full wipe, and then there's my file. And what it's going to do here is it's going to check the MD5. So you can see entering CS for MD5. It's checking MD5, doing unplug cable, and it says please wait. So at this point, what's going to happen is you can see this is probably going to happen for you too. It says not responding. It, it is functioning, so you just got to wait. I uh, see things moving, my little mouse is spinning. You just got to wait. It's got to take that whole file, kind of like scan it, and make sure that the file is good. You have a good download, all that kind of stuff. So it kind of checks the MD5 for you as well as using MD5 uh, EXE that I was telling you about. Um, and then there you go. So it says right here, MK2. Talks about it. Finished successful, leaving CS. That means you are good to go. So last two things I'm going to point out is these are auto checked auto reboot and um, f dot reset time leave those checked how they are but do not check anything else here because you could have major problems this tool has a lot of power and you do not want to click something you don't know what you're doing so these will be auto checked this should have your your file this should run just like it is here com number doesn't matter but it has to have com and you should see added alright so we got all that done we're going to go ahead and click start. And you can see it's running through some stuff up here on the computer as, as well as on the screen. Um, this is basically what it's going to look like. You're going to have a, that little blue progress bar on the device. And it's going to flash everything over. Now system is the biggest file that this thing flashes. So system takes the longest to flash. Um, you saw a lot of things in the beginning here flash really fast system is going to I don't know probably take five minutes to flash this thing so just be prepared for that understand it other thing you want to point out is it's a very good idea to have good battery life um, before starting this I mean you could probably get away as little as like 30 percent battery life um, I always try to flash my device with like 90 or more uh, it should flash okay with lower battery life just something to be aware of um, that you don't want to flash it with low battery life. So, 
That being said, um, I guess the last thing I'm going to tell you guys is this restore will also get rid of that uh, custom with the unlock on your boot animation. So if you have that on your phone and you want to get rid of it, again, this Odin restore will do that for you. So I'm going to let this thing run. It is going to take a little while to get build progress across, and we'll come back to it after it uh, gets some more progress here. All right, so here you guys can see that it is now flashing modem bin, and um, it's moving on to the next step. Uh, progress is almost done here. Here it's flashing, again, some radio stuff. Now it's wiping cache partition. I think next it's going to go ahead and wipe data. Normally that's how that works. Let's see what we get here. All right, there we go. Finished up with Odin. Says it's resetting. Now that is interesting that it still has the custom logo. Let's uh, see what happens here once this thing uh, reboots. I think that's going to get removed here when we go into recovery and finish flashing these. Yep, so here we go. We're in recovery. And it's just going to finish flashing some files to complete the uh, Odin restore. So that is a very good thing. Okay, so this should be your first full boot up. Let's see how this goes. Again, it does say custom still. It's got to boot, I think, once or twice to like get that to be fully removed. Um, not really a huge deal. Just uh, be aware of that. It should go away after it gets it sees that it's got a full operating system that's normally functioning correctly. Uh, that custom should go away because this is a full factory reset. So here you go. First boot up here. See your Verizon. And we're going to go ahead and, and let this thing boot up and just show you we're back to full stock, lost root access, lost everything else off the device. First boot up obviously is going to take a little bit longer than, you know, a normally booting up the phone because it's got to repopulate everything. You're doing a full restore. So first boot up could probably take up to five minutes. Just be ready for that. Uh, it could take a little while. See, we're stuck on this Verizon screen for quite a bit here. Alright, so I want to point this out to you guys that the tool did say pass. So actually that means at this point it does say right down here all threads completed, success 1, fail 0. So you can go ahead and close out the Odin tool. And at this point we're basically just waiting on the phone to finish booting up. Shabam. So just, just be patient with it. You can actually at this point, because the tool's done, you can go ahead and unplug it if you want. It's not going to hurt anything at this point. Go ahead and unplug. Mm -hmm. And it should be uh, doing okay. Now, I guess I was saying, uh, like, worst case scenario, you could flash the pit partition. Um, so, actually, I'll show you that really quick, um, which is this file right here, pit. And you would do that through Odin. Um, you can read on the thread on how to do it on XDA if you want. But um, worst case scenario is if, if this fix, this Odin unbrick restore doesn't work, I would flash that pit file and see if that gets the device running again correctly. So again, we're just waiting. Okay, here we go. We have the uh, startup screen here. And use Wi-Fi because I don't have a SIM in here. So we're going to leave Wizard for the setup stuff and just get right into it. I'm actually going to go home and see if I can. There it is. So I'll connect to my Wi-Fi later. But there you go. You can see everything is fully back to stock. I'm just going to show you guys that you have completely wiped out everything. You don't have any any files in there at all, uh, or apps, I should say. And then lastly, we're going to go into your phone again and more about phone. And again, you should be on MK2. Yep, build number MK2. Everything is factory set. I would reboot this maybe once or twice just to get that um, uh, custom unlock screen to go away. But that's pretty much it. That's going to be how to unbrick uh, Odin Restore your Galaxy S4 to MK2. Pretty sweet little setup. Not too big a deal. Very easy to run. Again, XDA links, everything will be in the video description down below. Talk to you guys later. Root Junkie out.